Hello friends, Radhika Ravikumaya. Today uh, we'll see uh, a tutorial on Informatica. That is uh, how we can uh, transfer the data from uh, one source to a target. So my source is going to be EMP1, EMP and the target is going to be EMP1. So you can see that EMP, I have described those two tables and both are um, normal tables. And I'm not going to use any flat files over here. You can even use flat files like uh, uh, you know, uh, like your Excel sheets or CSVs and all. Uh, we'll see that in uh, the upcoming tutorials. So presently I'm just using uh, two tables. The source is also going to be a table EMP and uh, the target is also going to be a table that is EMP1. So you can see that EMP is having all the data rows and all so when i select uh, star from emp1 it's having no rows here so what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm using informatica 8.6.1 so opening your power center designer uh, first you need to import your source and target how you're going to do this is you can see that there is a uh, option called source just uh, say import from data you have a option from import from file also presently we are going to just import our tables right so just say import from database then uh, just uh, type your owner name password and click on connect after uh, you know clicking on connect you will be getting all your tables over here so just expand this tables so mine is uh, my table my source table is going to be emp so already i have imported it just uh, let me just select on the table that you want to import and click ok here After clicking OK, uh, your uh, EMP, your source uh, table will get imported to your source place. Okay, uh, already my table is imported, so that's why it's showing some error. Once when you do it for the first time, it will get imported. Then coming to the target, my uh, target, uh, I'm going to import my target uh, table also here. W once when you click on this is you can see a magnifier icon here when you click on that it will be your source tables over there then the next you can see target designer just click on target designer from here you can see that the options are getting changed when you go to source or when you go to target when you go to target you can see the target windows help and all when you go to the source you can see sources windows help now coming to the target just click on target you need to select your target file right so just say import from database the same way you did for your source then just um, type the password over here then connect it once it's connected to the database again the same thing uh, tables will get uh, you know displayed over here then my target is going to be emp1 so after selecting the emp1 just click ok so your uh, target table will also get uh, imported so even the target table is also there so i'll just uh, exit this then now first uh, now we can create our uh, you know mapping over here so coming to mapping designer just uh, create a new mapping i'll uh, click on mapping then create then here i'm going to name my uh, mapping as test underscore map click ok after that you need to bring your uh, source and target files so my source is uh, EMP1 just uh, bringing my source EMP1 here you can see a source qualifier is also uh, created for my source definition so after that uh, my target is going to be EMP1 I'm just going to uh, do a direct one to one uh, transfer it's not like uh, I'm going to use some uh, aggregator joiner sequence and all. We'll see those things in the upcoming tutorial. We'll just uh, transfer, we'll just uh, copy the data, whatever is there in the source, simply to our target. You need to, after this, just uh, save your uh, mapping. You can see that the mapping test map is invalid because you haven't created any link for the source and uh, target. So, af uh, once after doing this, just uh, select all and uh, create a link like this you can see uh, the link is created between the each call emp number one to emp number and then e, e name to e name like that then save it now uh, your mapping is valid now you need just you need to run this mapping so that your data in the emp will get uh, copied to emp12 so after this just um, 
go to your uh, your workflow manager once your workflow manager is uh, opened what you are going to do here is uh, you need to create a task over here so session just say create then under session just give some name I am going to say test underscore map ok after creating this you need to select your mapping my mapping was uh, test underscore map ok so now uh, a session is created for my mapping just save it after saving it you need to right click on it and say start task once you say start task your uh, workflow monitor will uh, come up you can see uh, the things that's happening on your backend once it is um, the data is transferred successfully you can see this succeeded message over here now to check it whether the data whether the rows are copied directly from the source to target we will go to our SQL plus and see first let me set the lines over here lines 120 sorry set pages 120 ok now uh, we will see whether uh, the select star from EMP you can see this was our source and when we selected the target in the previous uh, time it was actually there was no records uh, found so now uh, selecting our target you can see that uh, all the whatever uh, the source was having now even the target is having this is how you will be using an informatica this is how using informatica you will be you know transferring the data from the source to target so hope you have understood if you have any queries uh, then please do let me know just mail me to plsql.informatica at gmail.com um, and also if you have any queries in installation of informatica then let me know that and um, please do subscribe and uh, like my tutorials and uh, please uh, please be uh, you know keep watching my <laughs> tutorials and uh, thank you very much for watching